What's up guys, today we got the Air Jordan 1 Amman Meniers. Let's check it out. So jumping into the box design, we have a classic Jordan 1 box with the Ama Minier twist to it, similar to what we've seen in their previous collaborations with the Jordan 3. Overall, I think this box design is really dope. Um, it definitely screams Ama Minier collaboration, so I think they really knocked it out of the park with this one. So jumping into the materials and design of this sneaker, we have a cracked leather all over the upper with laces that are waxed and metallic aglets with the Amman Meniere logo printed on them, as well as the tongue tag printed with Amman Meniere and a small message on the side panels of the sneaker. And we can't forget the quilted interior, which we've also seen on the Jordan 3 collaboration as well. Overall, I'm not really a fan of the material choices used here. Definitely not a fan of that cracked leather. As we've seen on the Jordan 4 Taupe Haze, definitely feels very rough and crumbly in hand, and also not a big fan of wax laces. Um, I don't know what it is, but the shine that the wax gives on the laces doesn't look right to me. I can definitely see the creative headspace that Amon Manier was going for, so I appreciate that. Definitely not knocking them for their creativity and pushing things outside the box. Just not the type of materials that I typically enjoy on my Jordan 1s. So throwing these on feet, the comfort wasn't anything special, just felt like your typical Jordan 1. Uh, even with the quilted interior, it didn't really do too much for me. Although it looks good and may feel a little more soft than your typical Jordan 1, um, it wasn't anything too crazy. So for these sneakers, I went half a size down, which is 7 men's for me. Typically I go half a size down for Jordan 1s. I don't know if it's just me or other people, but these tend to run a little big. So I usually like to go half a size down for that more snug fit. But I ended up copying these off the Ama Meniere website on their initial drop. And I believe a week later, two weeks later, they did another drop. So if you were on the site, I heard a lot of manual users were able to cop due to their bot protection. But if you struck out, you know, you may have to go through resell and all that.
Let me know in the comments below if you're rocking with the cream laces or the burgundy laces. So jumping into the fit, I went with the more neutral tone colors, which I typically do. I just really like the aesthetic and the simplicity of all the colors and how it is easy on the eyes. Uh, I typically try to add layers to it. So here I have some dark brown cargos to kind of go with the brownish beige tone of the sneakers, as well as a light beige t-shirt, which I feel like matches well with the laces, and a corduroy button up, which is a little lighter tone than the t-shirt just to give a little separation of colors. And on top of that, I threw in a bomber from Uniglo, which I feel like ties the whole outfit together and adds another additional layer, as well as keep you warm for the winter season. What's up guys? I wanna wish y'all a happy new year. Welcome to 2022, and I hope this year is going to be better than the previous year, but I guess we'll see. Um, but thank you for checking out my latest flash review of the Air Jordan 1 on my Meniere. Um, I'll leave the description of the fits and the music and all that in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And I'll also post my social media, so Instagram and Twitter, so be sure to follow those for all the latest updates. And leave a comment in the section below what you guys thought of the video, the fit, the sneakers, did you cop or not. And I guess I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.